Tonight, a million dollar matchmaker. We've got a tough case this week. Davina is no joke. When she runs out of matches on Tinder, she goes to Craigslist. I like sex! Oh, wow. Okay, Maxwell, who do you have? Peter Kirby. So he's still considered a relationship virgin. Absolutely. We've never had one of those. Millennials think they know everything, and they know nothing. I'm old. You're old. Millennials enjoying sex is a choice I no, make. Do not, not call me sick. My name is Patty Stanger. I've taken over an exclusive hotel tucked away in the hills of Bel Air, where my team and I will take on some of the most difficult to match millionaires and celebrities. I am the million dollar matchmaker. Oh my There's God. So much going There's on. so much to do today. Oh my gosh. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? Where's Maxwell? What happened to Maxwell? We have a He's meeting. He's probably trying on another one of his outfits. Let's get started because we don't have that much yeah. time right now. We've got a tough case this week. Okay. Davina is no joke. 41 from Canada. She has this lifestyle brand called Sexy Brilliant. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? My name is Davina Carr. I'm an entrepreneur and I like sex. How do I look? Perfect, beautiful. Always Sexy Brilliant. I wrote a book called Sexy Brilliant about how I fell in love with myself. Hey. I grew up in India. I had an arranged marriage when I was 25 years old, but there was no love in my marriage. Leaving it was the best thing that I ever did. My sexual liberation has been a long time in the making. Davina. Since her divorce, she's kind of finding her sexuality, her value and living life again, but she's living it a little bit crazy on the dating apps. When she runs out of matches on Tinder, she goes to Craigslist. What kind of crazy crack whore is she? Know. Hi, welcome to the Millionaire's Club, Miss Carr. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. Hi. Davina? Davina, hi, Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you staying here? Yeah. Just Me too. Too, yeah. I meet the most awesome men wherever I go. I am a dating addict. Enjoy your experience at Lex Hotel. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, you're very sexy. Are you single? I'm single. Me How about too. yourself? Yeah? Oh, good. Yeah, wow, you're fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like dark men. I like light men. I like Indian men. I like men. When I was reading her information, the one thing I did notice is like she likes the beginning. Like she, she likes to get beginning. to know someone and then she disappears. Yeah. I don't trust that. There's got to be something deeper. Oh, I'm a little bit look afraid. Look who's here. I'm gonna have to look, look out for her. Look who's at the prince. Why were you late? Because we have things to do in this world, yeah, not okay. just you. Things have to a do. seat, Missy. Did you have fun putting your makeup on or what's going on? <laughs> Can it tell Maxwell a little bit about Davina? Okay. Let's see her social media audit. Yes. I mean, every photo, if you notice, it's, we have some cleavage. The twins are there. She's bleeding with her boobs. Yeah, every all the time. single photo. Oh, she's girls going wild for real. This is not a way to get a relationship. No, 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 no. But she says she wants love. Hi. Nice time. Your room's gonna be right over here. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm going to see Patty because she's the guru of relationships. I want to find love. I need Patty's help. Okay, love. Max, well, it's your turn. Who do you have? I've got Peter Curdy. You're not gonna get a harder case than this guy. Thanks. I'm Peter Curdy. I'm 27 years old. I live here in Los Angeles, and I'm so freaking fabulous, honestly. Like, hello. What does he do? He owns two clothing lines, and he is a brand manager at LA Fashion Magazine. Ooh, is he straight? He is not straight oh, by any gay. means. His only relationship was in high school for two years with his best friend. That's what helped him girl determine. Girl or boy? He's a girl. Oh, he's so he never had a gay relationship. Wow. No, he's never had a gay, gay so relationship. So he's still considered a relationship virgin. Absolutely. We've never had one of those. I do not know what the hell I'm doing when it comes to dating. I've had hookups. I've had one night stands, whatever. Everyone has them. Don't get me wrong, he's having plenty of sex. That boy is always on Grindr. Oh, oh. he's on Grindr. <sighs> I've already taken the pleasure of checking you in. Here's your room. Thank you very much. Follow me over here and we'll take your pee. All right. So for Peter's case, watch this. He loves to go over the top, but he dresses like a boy. He doesn't dress like a grown man. We have to fix that. We'll Absolutely. fix it. We'll fix his attire. Oh my God, he's got my Chanel purse. I have that. What oh. the f was that? Oh, nice. 
Thank you. And Patty has some welcome drinks for you waiting downstairs at the bar. Okay, well, thank you. It's really hard to match millennials as clients. Millennials don't connect. They sit on their phones, they look at pictures, they believe the picture is the person. So I had to take my matchmaking style and adapt it to modern times. These millennials are gonna be the death of us all because they don't connect, they don't right. know what it's like to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can tell you right now, this guy is gonna need a love lesson. Where do we have our cameras? Check in, the yeah, pool. Check in pool. The bar, do we have it at bar? Yeah. You leave it to me. Okay. So let's go. I'm going to check on Miss Davina. Okay. Let's do it. When I need to see a client's behavior for myself, I give them a love lesson. And each one is tailored to his or her own particular bad behavior. And in Peter's case, I need to see how he goes about meeting people in the real world. I'm going to the bar. Okay, perfect. If you don't mind, we're just waiting for one more person. All right. So you're headed to the bar? Hmm? Going to the bar? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. Same. I cannot believe that this guy has never had a real relationship. This love lesson is really going to give me insight as to why. Let's go. I hope both my clients get a good night's sleep because the real work begins today. I sent Maxwell in to check on my relationship virgin, Peter, so Candace and I could get to know Davina and her boobs. I want you to start thinking about what we're going to put on. We're going to put a nice dress on because okay. we're a lady, right? Sometimes. OK, Hi. Patty. How are you? Hi. We have Davina. Hi, Davina. How you doing? Awesome. Uh, have a seat. Thank you. So All right. Would you like a cocktail? I don't drink alcohol. You don't drink alcohol. What do you do to party? I have sex. You have sex? <laughs> So you're a sex addict? I got standards and very Patty, high ones. You have no standards. You're on Craigslist. Oh, excuse no me. Uh, 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 watch uh, what you're saying to me. Uh, excuse me. No, Hello, don't. You're in my house. You came to me. What's wrong with Craigslist? Craigslist is the bottom of the low rent. It's like the, the guy who's breezing through town and right. he's barely paying for gas. We're a little bit more discerning here. We're the Millionaires Club. There's a big difference between us and Craigslist. Ashley, I've met a lot of amazing men on Craigslist. OK, how many men have you slept with? I have slept with less than 100 men. Less than 100 men? Less than 100 men. I so own still it. still a lot. I have... So what? What the f are you is that all about? Listen, listen, don't get mad at me. What's with the attitude? We barely even started, and already Davina is giving me <laughs> There is a sickness to you yes. right now. No, you are, yes. no, uh, no, My job is to diagnose no. you. Me enjoying sex is a choice I no, make. Do not, not call sex. me sick. for this. Enjoying sex is not an illness. But I am looking for true love, and that's why I'm here. I will consider what she's saying, but nobody has the right to put me down. You're Davina ADD. You like the beginning. You're obsessed with the beginning. Yes, yes the beginning that is, is true. The fun part. Oh my god, I love when he calls mm. me. Oh my god, I love when he picks me Yay. up and takes me to dinner. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But that's not a relationship. Can you take your makeup off and throw sweats on and curl up and eat pizza? Accept each other's flaws. Right, that's the real relationship. Davina is so Davina ADD. As soon as she has sex with one guy, she loses interest and moves on to the next one. If she's looking for a real love connection, she's going about it in the wrong way. So why is it you feel sex is the gateway to all the relationships? Because it, it's the gateway to you. In my marriage, there was bad sex. Got it. Kind of an arranged. What yes. was your culture? You were, are you Indian? Um, yeah. Yes. We are not allowed to have sex before marriage. Did you sleep with him before the marriage? You did. No. You didn't. No. Ah, that's it. That's it. That's it. You didn't test the goods. You didn't drive the car around the block. You didn't know what you were getting. That's why you're sleeping with everybody. Ding, 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 oh, ding, ding. Wow. Like, bam. There bam. it is. There is that, it is. Is that what it is? You felt like you were forced into a situation that you had no control over. Mm -hmm. So when you sleep with them, you feel you have control. That extreme is not right. No sex before marriage is not right. I never said no sex before marriage, by the way. OK? It's just monogamy. No, I said no sex before monogamy. No in, no in, no in. Do you want the partner for life? I'd like to, I'd like to be in a healthy, normal relationship. I don't want to be lonely for the rest of my life. 
I don't no. want you to be lonely either. That's why I'm tough on you. I'm tough love. I want you to find true love. That's all I've ever dreamed of. Okay. Good girl. Then do the Good work girl. to get then it. do the work. So, now, at the mingle, the rules are the guy will engage in conversation first. You are not allowed to talk first. The second is no leading with sex, okay? You're gonna have a lot of fun here. Patty, she's a little brutal, but you know what? She's a professional, it's her job. I'm willing to give this a chance. As if Davina didn't exhaust me enough, now I gotta get under the hood with my millennial, Peter. Being a relationship virgin at 27, that's extreme. Something's definitely going on. Hello. Hi. 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 Nice you. to meet you. Have a seat. You want something oh, to drink? You. Maybe a cocktail, yeah. Okay. So Maxwell tells me that you never had a relationship, ever. Never. Never. Wait, you're lying to me. Mm -hmm. 27, you're good looking. What's wrong? I don't know. You tell me. What, what am I doing wrong? You must be going out and about all over town. Do you actually meet people this way? Oh, uh, well, I don't really go out on the town. I'll use Grindr. Okay, Grindr is strictly sex. Strictly. I mean, it is George Michael 101. You know that, right? Oh, thank you. George, I don't know who George Michael is. How do you not know really? who he is? I really don't. Come on. It's George Michael. What self-respecting gay man does not know, I want your sex? He's like the British icon. He was dropped dead gorgeous. He was one of the best singers ever. He put gay on the map. But if Grindr were around when he was younger, he probably would have been addicted to it. I mean, everybody yeah. I know is on Grindr too, so it's like. Okay, but it's, it's not like, that it's Grindr. Grindr and Tinder have a reputation of hookup. So you are sending a message to people saying, I just want to hook up. You know, it's like they're disposable. Let's hook up and throw them away. Hook up, throw them away. Well, I, don't, I don't think you're looking at it the right way. I think oh, you're looking yeah. at it from like no, an no. older person's no, standpoint. I... You're old. I'm old? You're old. Coming up, these are my rules, this is my club, this is my house, and that is your punishment. You're old. I'm old? You're old. I'm old. Maybe. So that means that I don't know what it's like to be single? Maybe back in the day you know what it's back like. Back in the day. Let me tell you something. The game never changes, just the players. Patty and Maxwell are giving me a real hard time with Grindr. I mean, I'm a millennial. That's what we do. Look, honey, as long as I have a vagina and he has a dick, it's the same story, 18 to 80. Millennials think they know everything and they know nothing. You stay close-minded, and you stay in your little zone, and you're gonna be single forever. Peter's annoying the crap out of me, but I kind of feel there's a sweet kid under all that eye makeup. Do you want love? Yes. Then you're going about it the wrong way. You're sending a message, all you wanna do is have fun. Do you have sex on the first date? Yeah. Okay, well, you're not doing that. Sex on the first date. I don't care if you're gay or straight, pink polka dot, don't matter. You're not having sex not on the first happy. date. That, You've right? been choosing ass over class. Yeah. How aware are you of your surroundings? I would think I'm pretty aware. So when people come to you, you respond, right? Yes. You look up from your phone, mm. Mr. Millennial? I think so, yeah. Really? Okay. Yes. So Peter, when I sent you down to the bar yesterday, I was actually setting you up on a love lesson. Let's take a look at some stuff we found on you. All right. See, my eyes and ears are everywhere in this hotel. Oh, there okay. you are. My staff sent you down to the bar to get a drink. So you're headed to the bar? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. You're on your phone? On the phone. I looked uh, at yeah. him and I said, hello. Why wouldn't you talk to him? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird that Peter thinks social media is connecting him to others when it's disconnecting him. Okay, now, at the bar, again, you're still on your phone, and look at him looking at you. You're on your phone. Cheers. Oh, thank you. This one's on us. Oh, thanks. Let me know if you need anything. The bartender is giving you a drink on the house, and you're clueless. Yeah, but who knows, like, He what? made eye contact with you. You paid no attention. Maxwell, you could stop the tape. So the problem is, all those guys, mm. I showed the profile to them of you, and they liked you, and they wanted to you. Peter is clueless and unaware about all the cute, approachable guys out there. If he only would start a real conversation with the right person, he might actually find true love. The bottom line is this, okay? You need to realize you're the problem. Okay, rules. Ready? Okay, rules, I'm ready. Rules, you ready? Yeah. One, okay, you're to delete grinder. 
Mm. Mr. Millennial. Delete grinder. Delete grinder. Okay. Okay. Mm. Number mm. two, you are going to initiate at the mingle. Uh. None of the guys are going to speak <sighs> until you speak to them first. That's right. Okay. And look up George Michael and learn to love him like the rest of us. Okay. This is what I'm gonna do. Maxwell's gonna prepare you. I want him to go through your closet and okay. pick out something a little bit more masculine. Okay. I don't want you looking like a little teenager. I want you looking like a man. Okay. I'm really excited for this. I've never had a relationship virgin. It's I can't first. wait to pop your that. cherry. I know. This millennial walked into my club after never having a relationship in his life. It's gonna be a challenge to crack his bad habits, but if anyone can do it, I can. It's day three at the Mooners Club, and it's gonna be super busy because I'm screening prospective daters for my clients. I have thousands of daters in my database, and I expect Candace and Maxwell to find me the cream of the crop. Look Thank how beautiful you. you guys look. You look absolutely stunning. Thank you. Well. I interview them face to face, and then if they fit my requirements, they get invited to the mingle. It's a long, exhausting process, but in the end, we should have some really great choices for Davina and Peter. So let's talk about who we're gonna be fixing up today. First, we have Peter. He was dressed like a 12-year-old, a teenager. Absolutely. Okay? And so Maxwell did a whole makeover on him. Oh, you did? So today oh. we're gonna see at the mingle. You guys are gonna flip. It's gonna be a new, confident, alpha man. The kind of guys I'm looking for Peter will gently teach the relationship ropes. They're gonna let Peter lead and be the alpha. All right, you wanna go get the first three guys? Hello. Okay, let's start with Sasha. I'm Sasha. I know. He's bilingual. What do you speak? Uh, yo hablo español, oh. um, but I also speak Russian as well. My name is Sasha. What, did um, you date a Russian? And no. spent Russian? No, my parents used to live in Russia. Cool. Tristan, mm. very handsome, by the Thank way. Thank you. Do you date Twinkies? What's the no, truth? No, I do not, no. You do not date Twinkies. No. So this guy's a little bit more metro. Okay. Well, we ruggified him as much as we ruggified Maxwell here, and okay. he's straight. He's oh. got a baby okay. and a wife. Oh. Do you find Maxwell attractive? Maxwell's a very attractive guy. Oh, he liked you. Well, I, pre I appreciate the love. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I work in management. I'm a technology and media entrepreneur. I am a drag queen. What kind of drag? Oh, I'm a pointer sister. I can point like hell. I basically just talk on a microphone and Let yell go. at people. Okay. Next. So, did you have a girlfriend in high school? Yes. And then I came out when I was 19. And what do you do for a living? Uh, real estate. I'm the chief strategy officer of a virtual reality company. Ryan, do you always wear your glasses? Not always. What do you look like without them? I like you better without them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm actually a super good twerker. Right, I'm not turn even around and show lie. me. Ooh, nice. Like... Eli, what the f are you wearing? Those pants yes. do not belong with those shoes, okay? How are you gay? Anna Winter would slash you right now. How do you feel about apps? You on Grindr? I'm not, I mean. Are you on Tinder? I'm on Tinder, because I feel like that's a ah, little. Ah, you're on an app, I knew it. You're on Grindr? No. Tinder? Nope. So how do you feel about apps? I mean, I don't use them, really. Yay, but... so far, ding, 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 ding. You're my favorite so far. I have been on an app. I was on Grindr for a day, but I'm not here for hookup, I'm here for husband. Oh. Not here for hookup, but here for us. I like right, that. I like you. Yeah. You're in. Yeah. Thank you. Great guys. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. Okay. So guys, yes, yes, no, definitely no. He would not be good. So for Peter, I think we found some really great contenders. Anthony is seriously adorable. He and Peter both came out at 19 and had girlfriends in high school. I also really like Tristan. He's a great guy. He would be the perfect choice for Peter to go into his first real relationship. And I really like Sasha. He was a cute twerker looking for a husband and not a hookup. All right, let's talk about Davina ADD, oh. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, talk about ADD. But she's really ready to give up her coochie mama ways. So we're looking for a guy who wouldn't break her heart, mm -hmm. who would take it slow right. and get to know her. Yes. All right, first three, please. All right, here we go. Andrews first, oh. Alexandra and Brennan. What are you guys doing? Making an entrance. Yeah. Okay. But um, Andrew's a psychologist. Andrew, I am a psychologist. You're a psychologist. Yeah, was... Well, you wrote at the bottom, Patty is his type. This you is would your date type. her. You're awesome. Why is she your type? She, you're type? my type because you don't give a f and you tell like it is. Our woman this week is very opinionated. Fantastic. So that's a good sign. It is a good sign, even though I came for you. Well, I don't think you're going to get her. Alejandro. Architect, very mature for his age. Can you handle a big personality? Of course I can. Yes? Yeah. 
Brad? Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Do you think he looks like Billy Ray Cyrus? Totally. Yeah, Achy, breaky heart all day. You were in the army? I was. Are you good at giving orders or taking orders? I'm usually good at giving orders. That's a good sign. So you says you date older women. So you date a four-year-old woman. I have before. OK. But she was more about sex. Yeah, pretty much. I speak your language, player. I know what it is. How about sex on the first date? Do you have sex on the first date? I have in the past and it didn't work out. I have before, yeah. How quickly do you have sex with a woman? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say no to her when she lets me have it. Bad answer. You know what? Get out. Get out. OK, so you were 500 and how many pounds? I got 530 pounds. OK, can I be honest with you? You lost so much weight, your clothes don't fit. We got to go to Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> How did you change your eating? Part of losing weight is loving yourself and treating like your him. body like yeah. a temple. I, I like too. him. Yeah. I like you him. Know? All right. Scott, yep. so what do you do? Stripping. Ooh. Oh, you're going to unbutton on your own. Yeah. You got some money? OK, there we go. Oh! <laughs> Who spends time in the gym? With your mouth, with your mouth, with your mouth. Mm. Ooh. You can keep that, 20. You can, you can keep it. Thank, Thank you. Great job. job. That's it. You guys can go. Can you please take them out? We've got a lot of work to do. Thanks, Thank gentlemen. You. OK, so guys, let's go back to this, OK? For Davina, I just can't have somebody that she can run over. We've got some excellent choices right here for Davina. I really like Alejandro. He's mature and sexy with a dash of Latin spice. I like Jason because he lost a lot of weight, is in control of himself, and won't let a woman walk all over him. I love Brad because he understands discipline. He's ex-military, and he is going to take charge and not let Davina lead. You know what we should do is bring in a guy to test her, and I kind of like this one. Well, yeah. When I'm worried about a client, I like to throw a test into the mingle just to see how they react. I am inviting Scott the stripper to the mingle because adding a guy like Scott will be like throwing raw meat into the lion's cage. Let's see if Davina has enough self-control not to take a bite. That's great, guys. We have a lot of work to do. Good job, team. Let's go set this thing up. Coming up. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hey. Nice to meet wake you. Wake up. These are the oh, straight nice men. And will you stop yeah. coming over to the I knew it. <laughs> You're talking about a party? I'm oh, sorry. This is boring. Oh, Scott. Yeah. You said you were a stripper. You want to see something? It's time for the mingle. This is my favorite part of the whole process. This is where my clients meet the daters we've chosen face to face. Hi, guys. Hi. Look how beautiful you look. Thank you. I love the dress. She the girls perfect. are out, but they're not out. You know what I mean? Davina's looking hot, but not too hot. I didn't want her tits flopping all over the place so men could never see her face. She needs to be a man meter, not a man eater. You guys mm -hmm. look amazing. Maxwell hooked it up. It's amazing. amazing. OK. Yeah. Peter looks like any gay man's wet dream. Do a twirl. Come on, let me see it. Peter, you look fabulous. You got to okay. have faith. Oh, George Michael in the house. <laughs> now I just got to make sure he actually goes out there and pursues the men. He's got to take charge and be the hunter. OK, I've hand selected some real gens in the group. It's your party, your game. If you play the rules right, you're going to go home with the winner. Come on in. Davina, Peter. Yeah. OK. All right, you guys excited? Yeah. How excited are you? Yeah. Gentlemen, I'd like you to meet my millionaires this week. Say hi to Davina. Hi, Davina. Davina. Yes. And say hi to Peter. Hello. I am petrified going into this. Patty wants me to go up to each guy and initiate the conversation. I don't know how I'm going to do this. You're going to stay here, right. and they're going to come to you, and one by one, they're going to hunt you down. Yes. Let them lead. Let them talk. There's like so many men there. I can't wait. I love a good party. Hi. Nice to meet you. Good? How are you? Good. <sighs> Always good. Thank you. So tell me more about you. I write. Oh, nice. What so, kind of writing do you do? Sexy, brilliant. Oh, okay. Have a beautiful oh, sure. smile, by the Thank way. Thank you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I am a health and recovery coach. I motivate people. I have a passion for helping people. I love what I do. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God, your eyes are beautiful. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to go check on Max on Peter. Okay. Hello. I'm Peter. What's Tristan. your name? Tristan? Yep. What do you do for a living? My background's in travel. I love to travel. Where have you been? How's he doing? I'm OK. I've been to 94 countries. 
right, all yeah. right, you beat me. How many countries have you been to? I'd say about 10. Oh, yes, okay, you got some catching up to do. Yeah, I got to catch up to I'm really impressed. Right off the bat, Peter's engaging and starting conversations. This is awesome. Cheers, cheers. All right. It's pretty intense to see 10 gorgeous guys vie for my attention. I guess I am that special. Hello. Hi guys, how you doing? Good. Brennan. Brennon, hey, nice to meet wake you. Wake up. These are the straight nice men, you. and will you stop coming over to the I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you originally from? Montreal. I heard Montreal's pretty fun. Have you been up there? Toronto. I got my fake ID in Toronto. The party is so boring. I can't stand small talk. Davina, nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Scott. Nice to meet you, Scott. I added Scott the stripper to the mingle to see if Davina shows self-restraint or her raging hormone's gonna charge right in. What do you what do you do? Stripping. Stripping? Yeah. Oh yeah? I'm a bodybuilder, so I get to show off my body. Yeah. So do you like to naughty talk? I'm following the rules tonight. Got it, got it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wow. Cool. Davina didn't take the bait. I'm like shocked. Hey guys, how are you? Good, nice how to meet you? you guys. So what do you do for a living? I'm a life and strategy coach. Really? That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. How about you? I'm a twerk strategy coach. Okay. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> When did you come out? When did I come out? When yes. I out? 19. Same here. Had the fake girlfriends in high school and then came out a little bit later. I dated a girl for two years. I did it for like a year. That's like the manliest thing about a gay man, though, is if he's gotten through having sex with a woman. <laughs> I work in finance, real estate, arena, loans, things like that, underwriting, you know, really exciting stuff. Just kidding. Waiting for the men to come to me, not my style. Hi, nice to meet you. I don't like Patty's rules. I, I'm a Midwestern hokey type guy, you know. Well, thank you. It was such a pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Excuse me. Candace, talk to What's me. Wrong? Talk to me. I cannot What's do wrong? small talk. Wait, no, no. What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, I, I can't do small talk anymore. I, I'm okay, done. Okay, what's, what's wrong with small talk? I can't wait for people to come up to me. That's. That's you want to go? Oh, you I want to go. Like, you're talking about a party? I'm wait. sorry. This is boring. Oh. I'm trying Patty's rules, but this is not me. I need to move this up. Look, this is a Craigslist. Yeah. Oh. You said you were a stripper. You want to see something? Sorry, Patty, but your party is very boring. Party, Patty! Scott! What do you want to see? This is so unprofessional. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a party, though! What the f is going on? I can't believe that I lost control of my own mingle. I'm going to put her right in her place. I have an idea. <laughs> Okay, it's definitely time for me to pull the plug on this evening. My clients had enough time to get to know everyone and make a choice. And in Davina's case, enough time to break my rules and royally piss me off. How did he do, Maxwell? He did fantastic. He fit right in. Did it feel different to be like, you know, the alpha versus the beta? Yeah, it was kind of awkward at first. Did you like it? I liked it, yeah. You made your choice? Mm -hmm. I have. So, you've chosen who? Perfect choice. All right. Sumina, you didn't want to do my process. You broke the rules. I have to be me, Patty. So. Okay. Davina turned my mingle into a strip show. I should really throw her out of the club, but instead, I'm going to teach her a lesson. Davina, you had a lot of choices today. Who do you choose as your date? Whisper. <laughs> So you want Scott. Coming up. Sitting there waiting for my date to arrive. My heart is pounding. This is freaking me out. This is the moment of truth. I don't want to see you get hurt. Oh, I hear the door. Huh? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You've now entered the Maxwell Billion world. This is an array, an assortment. A man must have options. Yes. My absolute favorite moment from this week is watching Peter transform from a boy band member into an actual adult. Do I really dress like a little boy? I guess I kind of do. You look like a third grader. Maxwell took him under his wing and changed him from kid clothes into a gorgeous suit where he looked amazing at the mingle. <gasps> look how beautiful you look. Today's an exciting day because my clients are going on a date for the first time. 
No one has ever disrupted the mingle like Davina ADD did last night. Party, party! Scott! Oh, wow. So for her punishment, she didn't get to choose her date. I did. So you want Scott. These are my rules. This is my club. This is my house. You will date who I choose, and that is your punishment. My top three picks for Davina were Alejandro, Jason, and Brad. If Davina opens up her heart and her mind instead of her legs, she might just see that I picked the right partner for her. I broke the rules last night, and now Patty's punishing me. I have no idea who I'm going out on a date with. I hope it's somebody fun and exciting. Davina! Hi. So good to see you. Hi. Oh, my god. Jason isn't somebody who I was expecting. This is going to be a very long date. I have rented out this whole ice cream store just for us. Wow. I used to own a couple of ice cream stores, so I know a little bit about ice cream. And not only is it ice cream, but it's infused with liquid nitrogen. It puts on a show. I picked Jason for Davina because he's a good guy and a true gentleman. He's dropped down from 500 pounds, so he tells me he's all about self-control, and if there's one thing Davina needs, it's restraint. Um, OK, so I think you said you were a writer? I am a writer. I'm also an entrepreneur. OK, now I'm going to say this in a good way, but like I feel like writers can be a little bit quirky. But in, <laughs> in, in, in a good way, but yes. yes. I am very quirky. Oh, good. OK, yes. OK, that, see? OK. Um, what do you do? Tell me more about you. OK, so basically, I own a bunch of ice cream stores for about 15 years. Yes. But then I got tired of it. OK. And I, I got sort of a, got into a bad place. I was like over 500 pounds. And, wow, um, yeah. you've lost all this weight. Yeah, and in fact, I've been able to use my own voice right, and help other people with what I was dealing with. Wow, that's fascinating. I was very upset that I did not get to make my own choice. But maybe Patty is right. Maybe I need to give this a chance. So what I was going to say is that um, you are 50 shades of gorgeous. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm going to tell you, we're not leaving until I get a kiss at some point. Peter was great at the mingle, putting his best foot forward and approaching like an alpha. My three favorite guys for Peter were Tristan, Anthony, and Sasha. I think Peter made a great choice for his date. They had a lot in common, and they're picture perfect together. So I'm sitting there waiting for my date to arrive, and my heart is pounding. Like, this is freaking me out. Hi. Hi. Nice to finally see you. I picked Anthony for my date. For me, he was the obvious choice. I saw him. And I knew it. I wanted to claim that. I brought us to bowl. And I'm not bowling in this. I'm going to bowl in my bowling jacket. <laughs> Your bowling jacket? <laughs> yeah. Come here. OK, so hips <laughs> like this. So you, OK. OK, and you kind of got to like kneel down a little bit and stick your butt out. <laughs> I've been bowling for our first date because I feel like it will give me a chance to take charge. I really am trying to follow every single one of Patty's rules. So I'm just like, be like lower. Okay. Get a strike so we can kiss. I never really initiated a kiss. It was kind of like a ballsy thing for me to do. It feels good to be the alpha male. He's a good kiss there. Last night was date night, and I need to check in with Jason and Anthony. I need to figure out if they're interested in checking out with my clients. Look at you both in navy, looking dashing. A lot could go wrong, so I have my fingers crossed on this one. What did you think when you saw Davina? Um, one of the things I was a little uncertain about is her behavior at Domingo. It, I was a little... It was turned off? Yeah, I was turned off, but... Tell us about the date. Did she lead with sex? No. So the twins no. weren't? I, no. I think I, I honestly... You I did it. She wanted, she wanted me to court her. She's charming. She has a big heart. Are we yeah. talking about the same person? Mm. <laughs> we are. We are. All right, Anthony, you're All up right. at back. <laughs> what did Peter 
plan for the date? Um, he planned bowling, which oh. he showed me. Did he, he show you? Me. Oh, he's a bowler. Oh, he taught you. Yeah, he taught oh, me. Like, I mean, I'm charge. not the best. I, I like that. Good Good coaching, Max. He was. A, he took the initiative. That's yeah. the job. So, how do you feel about Peter? I'm nervous because he said he hasn't been in a relationship. Yeah, but he's a relationship virgin. You might be able to train him to be exactly how you want him to be. This is true. But I've been in relationships in the past where people have been on dating apps and they've gone back to that. You don't want to get hurt, and I don't blame you. Honestly, I just have to think about it. OK. Need to be honest. Both Anthony and Jason have legitimate reservations. And I still need to talk to Davina and Peter. I have no idea how they feel. I could have two matches here or none. OK, guys. So here's the million dollar question. Do either of you want to check out with your millionaire? Um. Coming up. I had such a great time yesterday. And did he kiss you? So it's the moment of truth. Here's the door, I hear the door, I hear the door. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Are you kidding? Christopher, can you have Maxwell uh, bring up Peter? Peter was kind of an experiment for me. I needed to change a gay millennial who had no social skills whatsoever into an alpha hunter who gets his prey. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Where'd you get the suit I from? I know Maxwell hooked me up. No way! Yeah. Oh my god, I love it. You don't look like you're in a boy band anymore. You look like you're all grown up. I know. That's for sure. So how was the date? Did you take the lead? I love bowling, so I wanted to Oh, teach so you showed him how it's done? Yes. So that would be taking the lead. Wow. And then when he got a strike, we kissed. Did you use son? A little bit. Yeah. Did yeah. you get a little whoop? Yeah, definitely. Ah. He's gorgeous. He's gorgeous? Yes. Oh my god. I was, oh my god. Peter is a new man. He's more confident and present, and that's what he needs to find true love. Could you see a future with him? Yes. Really? So I had a little conversation with him because I wanted to make sure this was a match, okay? Okay. And he had a little trepidation. He was worried that you'd go back on Grinder and continue to date there if you got bored or not interested anymore. That's not gonna happen. Well, I know, but that's what he's worried about. So we don't know for sure if he's gonna say yes, okay? Yeah, that makes me nervous. Okay, so what's gonna happen is door's gonna open. If he is interested to check out with you, he will be there. If oh not, Maxwell's gonna be there. Okay, all right, Christopher, call Maxwell and ask him if Anthony wants to check out with Peter. If not, he knows what to do. Sure. Okay, okay. let's get up. So it's the moment of truth. Come here, come here, I got you. I got you. This is a tough moment. Rejection is part of life, but you're doing awesome. Oh, I was like, here's the door, I hear the door, I hear the door. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, oh you no! No, oh, no, no, really? no. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> hey. Oh. When Anthony walked through the door, my heart definitely started pounding. I felt really happy. Oh my God, look how aggressive you got. Who the f are you? <laughs> look how hunter he is. 180 degree turnaround. I mean, seriously, that's amazing. <laughs> no, it's just that it. he was always used to men asking him out, and he didn't get the good ones, so he went on Grinder. And you deleted it for real? I deleted it, yes. Okay. Do you have your phone with you? Yeah. Give it to Maxwell. All right. Swipe through. The Nothing secret. there. Nothing there. <laughs> That's you. like amazing. Nothing there. Good job. Patty did an amazing job this week. I don't think she could have done any better. Oh. <laughs> Honestly. I agree. All right, guys. Are you ready to check out together? Yes. I'm excited. All right. Give me a hug. Patty, you're the best. I love when I make love in the gay community. Good job. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Bye. Chris, we'll see you out. Huh? Good huh? job, my man. Huh? Christopher, will you call Candace and send Davina up? Hi! Hi, I'm back! Get over here, girl, and get some warmth for Thank me. Thank you, Patty. Some sugar. Well, she's not screaming at me. That's a good sign. I can't wait to see what she thought of Jason. I really hope she gave him a chance. So the last time I was talking to you, you went crazy at the mingle. You wanted Scott, and I chose your date. I think I need to apologize for uh, misbehaving. I'm listening. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Apologize, please. I'm sorry, Patty. Please, Chris, start, start the recording, OK? Put the, on the label on the tape, Davina Apology 101, OK? Got it. Seriously. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful. Yeah? I had such a great time yesterday. Jason rented the whole ice cream parlor, and that was just such a 
gentlemanly act to do. And did he kiss you? He did kiss me. How good was the kiss? <laughs> You're glowing. You're blushing. I do really, really wow. like you. Davina didn't make it easy, but I'm really proud of her. A few days ago, she was hooking up with guys that she found on Craigslist, but she finally listened to the master and went out with Jason yesterday and connected with him emotionally instead of sexually. Do you want to check out with him? I do want to check out with him. So that's the good part. Here's a little bit of the bad part. Jason has the right to say yes or no. And your behavior at the party, you know, it's still stuck in his mind that the stripper, you know, second thoughts, the whole thing. But let's pray he says yes. So come with me. So Chris, can you go ahead and ask Candace if Jason wants to check out with Davina? Sure. This is the moment of truth. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm a little nervous for you. That's I all. That's I don't want to see you get hurt. That's why. Oh, I heard the door. Huh? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Davina! Oh my. Wow, look at you. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at that. This is when working with a hard case really pays off. I love seeing my clients in love. Oh my God. Yay. Oh, I kind of feel warm and fuzzy. <laughs> OK, so you guys look so glowy and happy together. Wow. She's like a schoolgirl. I've never seen this side of you. How, Davina, did you know you like Jason? When he said, I was 50 shades of gorgeous. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, wow. Hottie. <laughs> Davina ADD has left the building. Divine <laughs> Davina has entered the building. Thank Do you, you understand how much you've changed in one week? One week. Aww. This is, wow. So. Are you guys ready to check out now? I'm so ready. I had no idea that this week would be the most life-changing experience for me. Mwah. I love you. And what? Yeah, I love you. Mwah. No more Craigslist, no more Tinder. I'm going to give us a chance. Bye, guys. Bye. High five. Good job. This is the reason we do matchmaking. Hey. Yes. We started this week with two really tough clients, but with Candace and Maxwell's help, I think we really changed their approach to relationships and brought true love into their lives. Damn, I am good. Who do we got next week? Bring it on. That was a lot of fun. Me too. Oh, oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Ladies first. Thank you. Wow. This is going to be so fun. Next time on Million Dollar Matchmaker. Who is your client this week? Bastion Yoda. Working with Patty, she should be afraid not falling in love with me. Because he's perfect 10 that everyone should be at 12. I have the perfect girl for you. I don't want to go out with you because you're just too critical. We have Laura Govan. Basketball wise. Basketball wise. Ask your mother comes out. You made a date I'm all of you you something came out my ass. When was the last time you jacked off? Give me your hand. Okay. Bad girl.